Hi, today we're talking about heart cath through the wrist. Yes, it's heart cath through the wrist or heart catheterization through the wrist. Now, uh, traditionally the heart catheterization was done through the groin, but more recently, in the last couple of years, they've been doing it through the wrist because there's less problems with recovery. So with that being the case, what the, what happened was, at first, when I went in for my, my AFib, my initial visit to the hospital, I was there for a couple of days, and within the first day, my doctor was talking about sending me down for heart catheterization. And he said it would be through the groin, and to tell you the truth, when he said it to me, I was, I, I didn't want to do anything with it. I didn't like the idea of sticking anything in my body to look around for anything. So with that being the case, I turned it down and they actually did an echo of my uh, heart to try to determine if there was blockage and such there. And unfortunately that came back as undetermined. So with that being the case, and believe me, I didn't want to do it, but I said, okay, fine, let's do it. Well, the day of, they get me prepped up and they roll me down on the table. I'm laying flat and such. And they say, there's good news. Um, you're actually able to go in for the wrist catheterization. You're young enough and healthy enough overall that you're a good candidate. Great. Didn't really want to go, but didn't sound as bad as going in through the groin. So we went down, they send you to a prep room first where they give you a chance to, you know, get numbed up and such. And then what happened was I, I got wheeled in, back in on the gurney. They take you to this, where I was at, it was an entirely separate room where they do this full time apparently. And um, they transferred me to the gurney to a table where you're laying down flat and there's a little TV screen beside me <clears throat> and um, there's various screens around the room where they're checking things they're trying to keep an eye on my vitals and such and uh, they're talking to you through the process they're numbing my arm and at this point they actually had a bunch of stuff over my arm to keep it flat and they keep telling you through the whole process don't move don't move but it's, it's kind of hard when you can it's not that I could feel it, but you could feel pressure. Literally what they were doing was they were pushing a camera up through my arm, through a needle. So they pushed it up through, it goes up through my veins, goes to my heart, which it's a lot to take in. And I look to the screen beside me and literally you could see the heart beating and such as it goes inside and the valves opening and closing and such and you could see the beating of the heart from the inside it's it's a lot to take in and they're they're checking it out and they're they're saying oh everything looks great blah 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 but um that's good that's great they pull the camera out and um they give you they 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 put this band around my arm. They say not to move my arm, keep it flat for, I believe it was two hours, at least two hours, two to four hours, something like that. Basically, I wasn't trying to move it anyways because even though it was painkillers, it, it still, it felt odd. It, it even looked a little odd as far as my arm. It had like a coloring to it. But you could see it looked a little war wounded, so to speak, from the procedure. So, and um, here's the one thing I do want to warn you about. And they warned me about it. They said about not, no sudden, sudden movements and such, not to swing your arm while you just to do your best not to use your arm for a week or so. Try to downplay any major movements with it. Well, here was the biggest mistake I made. I... Uh, I was shaving and I was trying to shave with my left and I'm a right-handed person so I'm trying to shave with my left and I finally just I grabbed the razor and I'm just doing it real slowly and such now here's the thing we all know what we do when you're shaving you run the blade underwater and what's the first thing you do you shake it off and let me tell you 
I had such pain that you would not believe. I'm pretty sure the neighbors knew I was in a lot of pain as well. Off the charts. And um, with that, yeah, I, I felt it for hours. And you feel it for like the next week or so. It's, it's not that it's terrifying pain every day. It's just this aching in your arm. And it does go away. And they say, you know, depending if you do any wild movement stuff, you could cause yourself a lot of damage. And um, truthfully, through the whole procedure, I feel like I have very minimal issue. I have probably like 95, 98% there. I don't really notice any problems. So at the end, I'm glad it, it helped to save my life and give them what they needed to help me. But <laughs> don't do this. Don't do this after that. And I drove a manual car and luckily I had someone take me home from the hospital and pick up my car but yeah it's the shaving that'll get you so don't do that you'll be in good shape and um, that's it heart catheterization through the wrist not a lot of fun but we get through it it's not a bad thing <laughs> all right we'll see you soon have a great day